Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is I, your host of the most, as always, Francois878, and today I'm bringing you another Let's Play video. Today I'll be talking about the new Tanbo Polearm. Uh, it came out in update 15.15. .15. Uh, my general impression of this weapon is uh, it's pretty decent. Uh, it's got a base damage of 80, uh, attack speed of 1.0, and a status chance of 25%. And uh, it's a lot of fun to use. The Shimmering Blight stance is what you're seeing here. Uh, it is just what naturally fit into the uh, weapon's uh, mod slot. And it's it's not bad. It kind of is very fluid motions, and I enjoy it very much. Easy to use as well. Uh, my general impression of this weapon is that it is not a spectacular weapon, uh, but it is definitely no slouch. It's very middle of the road. Uh, I think an attack speed buff uh, would make this weapon uh, exceptional, but it probably won't get it. Uh, I feel like it's, it's fairly well balanced right now. Not too good, but not too bad either. Uh, as far as builds go, um, I just used a, a simple, a pretty simple build emphasizing status chance uh, as well as damage. Uh, I used point, uh, pressure point, spoiled strike, and fury uh, is just in all three of my different builds. Uh, for Grenier, which is the build you're looking here at here, uh, I, just, I took Voltic Strike, Volcanic Edge, and Molten Impact to make Radiation, uh, Virulent Scourge, and Northern Wind to make Viral. Uh, this is a theme that I went through in all uh, three builds. I basically used uh, three of the dual stat uh, status chance elemental damage mods, as well as two of the regular 90% uh, elemental damage mods. Uh, I feel like I, this particular weapon, with having a 25% status chance uh, base, didn't really need the fourth dual stat mod. I feel like it was kind of a waste, uh, so I just put on the uh, I, I have uh, three of the dual stat mods and two of the pure damage mods to get that little extra buff in damage. Uh, but here is the corpus build. Obviously, I'm building magnetic and toxic voltic strike uh, being the lead there. And see here you uh, have the infested build, which is uh, corrosive, voltic strike, virulent scourge, fever strike for uh, corrosive and volcanic edge and molten impact for the fire damage. Uh, which this this build emphasizes, uh, like I said, it definitely emphasizes the strong points of this weapon, which is its damage, which is quite high, 80% damage. Or uh, 80 base damage is uh, pretty high, uh, very respectable for sure, uh, as well as its uh, very high uh, status chance. I think that uh, you emphasize those two, uh, you've got a hell of a weapon. Uh, now, of course, you can, you know, switch out different things depending on your play styles. You know, you can have that fourth dual stat mod in there if you really want that extra 15% status chance, but that's entirely up to you. Uh, for me, I, I like the extra damage a little bit more than I care for the extra 15% uh, status chance. I feel like at 70% uh, status chance with the current build that I'm using, I thought I was very consistently hitting status effects uh, consistently enough to where I thought the extra 15% wouldn't make a huge difference. Uh, this build is also nice uh, because none of the three builds I just showed you uh, took a forma, which is great. Uh, the only reason you'd need to forma with this particular build is if you really did not like Shimmering Blight and you preferred uh, Clashing Forest, which I don't think it's Clashing Forest. I think that's a staff uh, stance. I'm sorry. Uh, the other <laughs> the other polearm stance. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, the other polearm stance. If you prefer that stance to Shimmering Blight, uh, then this would require you to put in a uh, one forma to reform of the stance. Uh, 
slot. But other than that, I mean, it's a pretty simple build. I feel like most people have uh, at least three of the four dual stat mods, so it's pretty easy to build. Uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you next time in another Warframe video.